Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to my DIY pantry makeover on a budget video. I'm so excited for this. I'll be taking you through the entire makeover process start to finish and showing you some organizational ideas, DIYs to create an elevated modern feel, and then the final reveal. If you are working on a similar project, I hope this inspires you or motivates you to create your dream pantry with whatever space you have. If you enjoy this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it so much and let's get started so before we start this transformation I wanted to give you guys a little before clip to show you exactly what we were working with and what the space looked like so you could really appreciate this process. As you can tell, the pantry has turned into a catch-all for anything and everything over the last few years. There was no organization or reason why a lot of this was in here. So first and foremost, I had to remove all of the items from the shelves and the floors before any decluttering, organizing, and work that had to be done inside the pantry could happen. I thought I was cool. Now that everything is out, I'm going through each item one by one, purging anything that I can. Not only did I have to get through all of the food, but there was also paint, dog things, tools, cables, so many random things. We definitely had our work cut out for us. I'm going to be consolidating all of this into piles, items that I can donate because we no longer use, a keep pile, and then a recycling slash garbage pile. This probably is one of the biggest declutter and organizing projects I have ever worked on at once. So I kind of just started in the area that was closest to me no rhyme or reason sometimes it's just overwhelming you don't even know where to start so that's why i just jumped in If you're like me and have more pillows than you will ever need, let me know how you store them down below in the comments. They are one of the most challenging things to store because of their size, so it was time that I donated and let go of a few. The rest of them I just moved to a bin that I can keep in the attic because there was no reason for them to be in the pantry. They were just taking up space, but we're going to get through this stack before the next step.
Next up is all of this food that's sitting on the dining room table. I'm going through the canned goods, pastas, things like that, making sure nothing expired. Then I will separate them into piles or sections so I know the quantities I have. I can map out how much space I need and what type of containers. We are definitely making progress but have a long ways to go. Throughout the rest of the video, I will also be sharing realistic and sustainable organization tips that have helped me along the way that I hope can help you too. Since I wanted to get the most done that I could this one day, before continuing, I spackled whatever holes were around so that could set up and dry while we worked on taking the shelves out and ripping up the carpet, which needed to be replaced so, so bad. I think it was original to the house. So yeah, the floors were definitely something I was excited for. When the lights out After considering a few options, I thought it was best and the most cost effective to keep the shelves that were originally in the pantry, but replace and add a few to make them more functional while keeping us on budget. The shelves are from the container store, so they are really, really nice quality for wire shelving, even though they aren't my favorite, but there was nothing wrong with them, so I wiped them down to get them as good as new. And now that the walls are prepped and ready to go, I'm going to add a fresh coat of paint. The color I chose is pure white from Sherwin Williams. I wanted this space to be light and airy and the paint alone made such a difference The flooring that we're using is from Lowe's. The brand is Shaw, I believe, and this is a vinyl plank flooring in the shade Sea Salt Hickory. We ended up choosing this color because it matches all of the bathrooms, closets, and laundry room floors throughout the house, but they have several different shades to choose from. I really wanted something that was inexpensive, but also durable, and this was totally it. I luckily had Joe here to help me do the floors, and I also wanted to mention there is a latch type door that leads to our crawl space. You may have noticed we are leaving that at as is but once the rest of the floors were finished we added some quarter round to hide any gaps and then the baseboards were ready to be painted Ooh, 
You'll see the biggest change storage wise in the next few clips. I replaced the white shelf with a wood shelf just for aesthetics. I have a similar shelf in the laundry room and I wanted to keep it somewhat consistent and I loved the contrast with the white. I also chose to keep the wood as is, not adding any stain to preserve the natural color. And then underneath the shelves, if you remember, I had like a random unit that was just sitting on the floor, not meant for in here. So to utilize the space properly, we bought three additional pieces from the same line at the container store. They happen to be 30% off and probably one of the best additions we made. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on About your simple Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different I tried to plan out where exactly I wanted the bins and baskets before starting to organize. I took a picture on my phone so I could refer back to it and I highly recommend doing it this way so you hopefully won't have to move things around too much and you kind of know what fits where from the beginning. Overall, I wanted certain things to be accessible and having a plan going into any type of organizing makes the process so much smoother. Depending on the space that you have, floor baskets or oversized baskets are always a great option for bulkier items. In my case, I'll be filling these with some paper towels and also all of the dog's food and dishes. I found these at Home Goods, and they are a decent size. I love the detail of the black tassel on them to bring more of that color into this space too. Moving on to a few dinner items, I really like these organizers because they are tall and narrow. So these are great for pasta, rice, mac and cheese, the cornbread mix that I'm adding, a little bit of everything. I'm storing some chicken stock in another one. So these are definitely one of my favorites. They're a great staple shape to have. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, down, down I opted out of airtight containers. For me, they're just not practical. The chances that I will come home from the grocery store and empty chips and snacks into them is pretty slim. I'm also not consistent with what I buy, so to wash them each time seems like a lot of work. That's why we chose these pull-out mesh drawers. Do what makes your life easier. I can't stress that enough. I can now keep those snack items in here. They're somewhat hidden, but very, very practical. Oh, 
Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, 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 down. Baby, going down, 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 down. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. And I thought. The Lazy Susans are for sure a top organizer for me. They are so versatile. You can see everything that's in them when spinning it around. There are compartments, so it makes it really easy to store and divide little food items like fruit snacks or bars. We have a lot of protein bars, and I always make sure the label is facing outwards. That way, when I'm spinning it, I know what's inside. I went back and forth with this Lazy Susan. I don't even know how many times, but until I found a solution that worked, it's all trial and error with the organizers, and there is no right or wrong. So right after I finally get it to the way I want it, I'm going to work on the canned goods. This new shelf is designed for cans, so I'm organizing those in a rainbowish order. And then I'll move on to an overflow Lazy Susan, which has a little bit of everything on there. Mustard, ketchup, hot sauce, the essentials. If you want an organized space but want to keep it budget friendly and spend less time maintaining, baskets are the way to go. Items like pasta sauce, cans, things that aren't necessarily aesthetically pleasing and can tend to look messy are hidden but also grouped together making it simple to find. You'll see I dedicated one to all the pastas and then one for the pasta sauce. Okay, so this may be a little extra to some of you, but it's so satisfying at the same time. Most oils or vinegars come in different shapes and sizes, and it could be hard to organize them. So I found these glass bottles on Amazon. A ton came in the pack, I wanna say like 15 or 20. So I could definitely add more as needed. And then the labels are from Etsy. I'm adding them to the front of the bottle. This is one of those things that takes no time at all, but makes the biggest difference.
Next, I'm going to transfer over any powders. The glass jar that you see me filling now is from Ikea. They are narrow and tall but hold a lot and I'm going to be filling these with flour and powdered sugar. And then from here, I'm packing these smaller canisters that have a wood top with protein powder and other things we reach for every day. I want you more than my name. I want to float on downstream. Go and find my wild dreams. Yeah. I'd kill to feel it all shake. You like a twisted mind game. I'll be burned by your flame. Oh. Ups and downs, no in between. Fire and ice burn gasoline. You know I love it. You know I love it. Function was a super important factor to me, which is why anything front and center as soon as you walk in are the things we reach for the most or daily and then overflow or items I need every once in a while are higher up to the left hand side out of the way. I love seeing the process of everything coming together. So I'm almost finished putting all of the bins and canisters where they belong. I even added a hook for masks, which is such a 2021 thing. And then I will finally vacuum the floors. You know I love it, you know I love it Love and hate, romantic sin Fire and ice gone with the wind You know I love it We're about to finish with the floors and then I will quickly show you the before clip just to remind you of what the space looked like prior to the final reveal. I cannot believe what a transformation it is. I hope that you guys love it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and let me know what you think down below.